Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have more of what you need, not what you want. And today what you need is another finish Premier Division match between AC Olu and VPS. After that terrible segue, let's just get into it, because I got nothing else to do really. I mean, it's, I don't think we got anything, anything to update you on, or anything to be updated on. So, um... Yeah, like I said, we're just gonna kind of, gonna kind of, we're just gonna jump right into this shit. Um, we have Saxel already to come back, which we will um, reinstate him there in the first team. Um, we will drop Hinkala. Um, reason being, uh, yeah, I, don't, I got no real reason. We have another uh, central defender right here. In, Suicy, so um, we're just gonna keep 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 keep. We're just gonna keep going on with that. Um, trying to remember. It's been a while since I played this, so I'm trying to remember what our first, I say. A while. It's been like three days since I played this. Well, not this file specifically, but it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, we do have some. Jesus Christ! Really, these guys are fucking racking up yellows. What is it? It, it must be. It can't be five. It must be three. Let me check that actually real quick. Um, yeah, rules. There we go. Disciplinary rules. One match. Yeah, it's every three yellow cards. Jesus. They're all over that shit. Hmm. That makes me wonder. Let's try something then. If that's the case... If that's the case, and we do get a decent number of cards as it is on our own, I think we'll go ahead and do this. We'll change how we close down a little bit, but oh my god, seriously. Fuck that. Uh, screw it, I'm gonna go with it. Fuck that. I was gonna say, I, I expected it to change our closing down a little bit, but not our, not as bad as it was, Jesus. I mean, come on now. It's terrible. I believe um, we can help alleviate that if we had another formation that used the same kind of... Not really the same kind, but the same the same closing down instruction. Which would be uh, fucking... Yeah, nothing really. Um, so anyway... Um, don't think I have anything all that important to say. I'm trying to figure it out, trying to remember, trying to remember. But I got, I got nothing. So, um, so we're just gonna jump right into this. Obviously, we should win this match. Uh, I think we got. I think they're bottom of the table or close to it or something like that. But you never really know. I mean, it is what it is. So. Um, I think what we're going to do, uh, going forward is, shit, I forgot, no, I don't even remember what I was going to say, I really don't have anything to say here, going into this, into this match, I mean, it's just, just really kind of a blank slate, you know, it's, it's kind of weird, usually I have something to kind of, some sort of agenda, but I don't have anything to do, oof. Decent passing. But, uh, yeah. So, um, shit. I'm really I am trying to remember. There's got to be something. There's got to be something I need to address here. I just don't. Just don't remember. I just don't at all. I am surprised, actually. Um, I am surprised at how. Uh, how um honestly kind of, kind of how poorly I mean we have not been all that all that good since we obviously switched to this formation um we've been decent I mean I think we've been better than we have been at times but um, in general like we haven't been as good obviously the last game where we surrendered two goals wasn't all that great um a lot of it is me quite honestly I think that my team talks have been kind of shitty one for whatever reason I, 
that happens with me. Like, I kind of get, not really in a rut, but I just kind of, I don't know, I, I kind of just fall off the wagon, I guess. Just kind of, I lose, I lose control for a little bit in that sense and kind of end up all over the place, but, you know, uh, one of the things is, one of my problems, I think, is, like, I have a hard time remembering, um, like, uh, especially when I'm doing this, or I'm doing other things while I'm playing football manager, I have a hard time remembering, like, what my initial team talk was at the top of the game, at the top of the match, and then, of course, following that up subsequently at halftime and getting a good performance in the second half is then a little bit more difficult. Oh, Jesus. Clear it. Oh, sweet Christ. What is going on? Uh, I can't wait. You know, I don't think this is going to be a problem, but I can't wait to have somebody on this game. I really... Or on this save file, I really can't. I'm, I'm really... As I said before, I really wasn't all that into this team, and I'm just I'm just ready to turn a bunch of players over. So I kind of not to say anything about bad about the team that we have. We have a pretty decent team talent-wise. It's just for me, I just I don't know. But I, I enjoy I enjoy making a club my own and you know that good stuff. Although I am I am going through some growing pains in my life with one of my clubs. I I basically turned over the entire roster and added a bunch of new players. I mean, we're talking like 10 new players. And if you know anything about football, for whatever fucking reason, that's that's a big obstacle to overcome. I mean, like, big time. Like, it's really, it really hurts your team's performance. Oof. Oh, thank you for that. Jesus. It really, really does hurt your team's performance. So, especially when you basically turn over the whole first 11, it's... It's weird. I... Oof, shit. Doesn't, that didn't really thunder off the crossbar. <laughs> but, yeah, and yeah. However, like I said, I can't resist sometimes. And quite honestly, I'm okay eating that for a while. And, I mean, it can't be much worse than what we've kind of gone through on this game, on this save file. I mean, we haven't had career. I should call it a career, because that's really what it is. This career, ha 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 ha, I really haven't had a... Jesus, I thought Robbie was going to get another really yellow there. I mean, I don't know, like I said, I just, I enjoy doing that sometimes. They're just turning over the entire roster. I don't do it, obviously, once I have an established program there, but I mean, when, when I first get into a club, I usually do that. And we haven't really had, um, I haven't really had an opportunity to do so because uh, the finances just aren't there for us to make any big moves. Which is unfortunate, because it could be really, really fun. It's exciting. It's what I'm holding out for. I'm really, ooh, shit. Is he offsides? No. Oh my god. Jesus. That was terrible. Oh, uh, man. I can't wait to get our new goalkeeper in. I really can't. It's just... Just shit like that irritates me. I mean, it's a short-sighted goal. That's on the side, I mean... That's on the side that you should have covered. I mean, I'm sorry. That right there, that save right there that Erickson just made is a hell of a lot tougher than Monsalve had, had to make. I mean... Uh, I'm sorry, I just... Uh, I hate that shit. I hate that shit. When you're on the short side... That's you cannot let them fucking score on that side. It's fucking unbelievable. And now, are we gonna go? All right, we'll just go with the calm, same as we did before. And probably this is one thing too. Like I've noticed a real trend in this in this game. And this kind of actually reminds me of what I was gonna talk about that I just remembered. So let me finish this thought and hope to God I don't fucking forget it by the time I'm done. <laughs> um. Now I don't regret it. Seriously, I don't even know where I was going to go with that. Oh, now I remember. Now I remember. Trends. Like, one thing I've noticed is one or two things are going to happen. When you come out with a bad first half, they either score, they being the other team, they either score early and put you out of it and pretty much end the game right there. 
you know, we're talking like within the 60 minute mark. Or you actually have some shot at coming back. And this is where they score right there. Oh my god. See that that save right there. Hell of a lot tougher. Fucking Christ, why would you play it that way? Hell of a lot tougher than the other save he had to make. I mean that's that's a soft goal, but and those are the things that quite honestly, those are the things that I think Tim Howard, man, I know everyone loves our US goalkeeper. I don't I like him. He's a decent player, but just he he has those lapses in concentration where he just lets in easy goals and it's just it's sad. It really is. I, I hate that shit because like like I said, like goals like that, you know, that, that we had scored against us. Those those are what he lets in. It's like fuck, you know, you were there. It's not like you were out of position. You were just fucking slow to get there. But whatever. That's me and my my goalkeeping philosophy, which is probably all wrong, but I don't really care. It's just the way I feel about it. I mean, like I said. Of course, that goes back to my days when I played hockey. I mean, like I said, when you have that short side between you and the, keep, the keeper, the goalpost, I mean, that's that's your side. There's no reason, you know, force them to go across your body and across to the open side to score. And, Jesus Christ. <sighs> They're just fucking eating us up today. That's something, too. I mean, this is a home match, too. I mean, we should not be... Playing this fucking corner, Jesus. It's terrible. I mean, sometimes this is just shit you just have to fucking eat and just fucking deal with it. Like I said, there's no reason. I mean, against any of the tougher teams, we should be winning. But. And that's one thing I also don't like about start. Well, no. I guess I guess it is starting. A, a squad is you get a lot of performances like this when you first start your career I guess because you don't have even regardless of how well supposedly the halftime talk I mean I had little green bars and it says they seem motivated I assume I did right I mean am I wrong I mean I don't know what the fuck else is is the right team talk there I mean a lot of times it depends on what the manager opposite of you says as opposed to what you really say to your squad as to whether or not they implode, they being the other team. But anyhow. It is it is what it is and you know, us not having the reputation as a world class manager, I guess, yeah, it is I mean it's just the way it is, oh, Jesus Christ. A lot of bad defensive decisions though between our two center backs. I'm gonna fucking rip Ramali out of there and fucking put Suicy in. I mean, what the fuck is it gonna hurt, really? I mean, they've already been fucking shitty. I don't know if that actually has anything to do with the, the, the substitute team talks. I mean, quite honestly, I, I, I don't really. And that's what's really for this. Three click pet chances for us and we haven't fucking converted on anything. Oh, Jesus fuck. Yes. Jesus, that's terrible. But anyhow. I'll take one Molly off and then. This is this is the fucking problem right here, these two fucking assholes. I mean those fucking team ratings. They haven't been shielding the back four like the fucking Christ. Really, the guy's on there for fucking two minutes. Not even a minute and a fucking half, and he's got a yellow card already. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus. These are the times that these sorts of matches are the ones that really irritate me. They really do. Because it's just like, there's no reason for it. There really isn't. I mean, I understand. It's, it's very realistic. It really is. But, oh my god, I'm so cool. please. Ugh. Or you could just not even take the fucking shot. Are you fucking serious? What the fuck? 
Jesus, fuck. Kitten on that, I hate that. Why the fuck? Why the fuck would you just try and head that or send that back towards the 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 uh, corner taker? I don't fucking understand that shit at all. That shit boggles my fucking mind. I hate that. I don't know why they fucking do that. There's no reason for that shit. I mean, I'd rather... Okay, here's my, here's my idea. I'd rather the defender set the ball down and try and turn and shoot with it and have it blocked or taken away from him as opposed to just put it out without even half a chance. I mean, like, at least when you stop, drop the ball down, and and then try to turn and shoot, you're at least giving yourself a chance at that at pulling that off. I mean, whereas if you just fucking try and send it back and you completely fucking miss, you know, can't... Oh, fucking God. What the fuck are you doing? Why are you just fucking stopping? Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Seriously? And here's their second goal, I bet. No, they're just gonna fucking... I don't know, like I said, these... So you've seen a lot of the things that really irritate me about this match engine, which, still in all honesty, I think is better than making 15, but it's still not good. Something about it, and this doesn't... It doesn't feel right. Here, at least, the things they do that are stupid are just stupid AI decisions. Whereas, they got those fucking animations that just completely take over the game. You know what it reminds me of? Fuck, what was that game? It was like NHL... Oh, fuck. Which one was it? It was like 06, 08, something like that? It was one of the um, old NHL games where they tried to just mocap the whole fucking game. I can't remember. I've got it. Or I might not, actually. I don't fucking know. It was a PS2 game, but fuck, did they just fucking ruin that game? Because everything was a fucking motion capture little fucking move. So you literally, you know, go from like the blue line all the way to behind the net doing some dumbass move avoiding someone. Like, fucking God, are you kidding me? Jesus, fuck. I don't think I can substitute them off, can I? Nope. They don't let you do that in this thing, no. And screw it. I don't fucking care. Just play with three fucking defenders. It don't fucking matter. Yeah, you idiot fucks who can't seem to, like, fucking find the net even when they're all alone with no one but the net. No one. Nothing but the net in front of them. And for whatever reason, they seem to want to fucking stop and hold the ball up. Fucking Christ. And that's something, too. Like, there's no... There's no instructions that we have whatsoever that have anyone holding the fucking ball up. That was just all him being fucking dumb. For whatever, he's probably get Owusu sent off. I don't fucking give a shit. Playing out of position and fucking whatever the fuck he's gonna do with some stupid shit. I thought he was gonna send it up and just. And that's one thing too, like sometimes when you're when your team is just out of fucking sync, like fucking Christ. Ah, <sighs> Jesus. Just unbelievable bullshit today. That was just that's the shit that just fucking like why? 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 Like the goalkeeper thing when they just fucking catch the ball and walk out of bounds with it. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Like that does not fucking happen. Have you ever watched football? Like Seriously, fucking hell. Just, there you go, move the ball along, please. Oh my god, I don't fucking save this. What the fuck are one and only defensive midfielder was doing in the box right there? I don't know, but their marking and their defensive effort there was absolutely fucking atrocious. The fact that he was that fucking wide open down a man, too. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Jesus. Of course, you know, we do have eight minutes left, and we, you know, they have them all. Oh, man. Jesus. Sometimes I just have no words for some of this shit that happens. You know, like, like this shit, oh Christ. Oh my god. That, that should have been a goal. He should have finished that shit right there. 
And that's something too, like, why? Why are they just so... Like, just... Lackadaisical. Defensively today. I, mean, I don't know what I fucking did. I must have pissed somebody off. Oh my god, seriously. Another fucking injury? Like, this is the shit that irritates me. Like, alright, fine, whatever. If I have fucking injuries, fine. But, you know, the fact that I made those changes, and I didn't really make them, like, in the first half. We're at half time. I waited till the 60 minute mark, and then after that, it's like, oh, let's just fucking get people injured. And of course, Saxel is obviously always gonna be fucking injured because the game wants to fucking do that shit. Even though, by the way, I did check. There's no reason to say that. That's also one thing that kind of irritates me about the match engine in this game. Wish the goalkeepers were a little bit more intelligent about some of those, some of those saves. Like, I understand at this level, a, a goalkeeper coming out to try and get a piece on, get a hand on that. At this level, I, I get that. But like, like I said, even even with my Galway United club, where I have a world class goalkeeper, they do shit like that. And it's like, you really could have saved yourself. Obviously, the corner, you know, with. You know, just not doing that. But, you know, hey, whatever. I like how they don't have... Yeah, they, I don't think they have a single fucking card. Oh, fucking hell. Do they? If they do, it's one. I don't think they have one, though. Oh, maybe. Maybe they do. Maybe they have one card to our four. Which is just fucking unbelievable sometimes. I mean, that's... I mean, look at that. I mean, they've committed 14 fouls. Like I said, I hate that shit. You know, I hate that imbalance sometimes. I mean... I don't know. That's the one thing, the one thing that irritates me about sports. I just want officiating that's down the line. I mean, if, if you've got 17 fouls to 14, okay, fine. But why the fuck don't they have, you know, at least one more card? I mean, shit. You know what I mean? Like, doesn't that make, I mean, I don't know. It's just me being me. That's, that's just my, I get fucking pissed off with that sort of shit. I hate that. It happens a lot. It doesn't really happen a lot in, in football, quite honestly. I mean, it's, it's fairly even in my honest opinion. But with this team, for whatever fucking reason, God, we must have just shitty tacklers. Oh, Jesus. No, we should have just left him. Oh. Anyhow. That's, uh... That's, uh, I just, I don't know, I don't know what to say, honestly, I mean, this match has been stupid frustrating, there's their one player with a fucking yellow, like I said, I mean, like, what the fuck, like, we can't close down, like, I mean, either our, our entire team fucking sucks at tackling, or fucking whatever, Jesus, one point that, quite honestly, was just fucking bullshit, sympathize, I ain't sympathizing with shit. I mean, that was not... See, like I said, this is the right team talk, right? I mean, I've had pretty good results throughout this entire match, and yet that was fucking horrible. And now you got two injuries to fucking deal with. Look at that. Why the fuck did we not have any possession? Sweet fuck. Ugh. So anyway, after all that, I'm pissed off. I still have to record at least one more episode. Maybe two more. Maybe try and get this shit back on track. I don't fucking know. But anyhow, that does it for this episode. If you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching, and hopefully shit's better next time.